Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know today's video is supposed to be a luxury haul, but I just want to start off on a little bit of a somber note. It's a little bit of a disclaimer. This video was filmed a few weeks ago. However, due to obligations that I have with a sponsored brand within this video, I am actually scheduled to upload this video today. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have taken a little bit of a step back from social media due to things that are going on in the world. I can't put into words how I feel about the current worldly situations. I think it is so awful. And I didn't want this video to come across as unethical or insensitive at all because I know if I just uploaded this video and you guys saw, I know that you'd think that I just don't care. And that is not the case. Personally, I've taken some time out because I just don't know how to deal with whatever is happening in the world. I think it is so awful. I'm just trying to stay as positive as possible. When it was just the COVID situation, I felt like these videos were my little escape and hopefully your little escape to just dealing with quarantine. And when I have to deal with a lot of anguish and pain and I see a lot of tragedy in the world, what I like to do is do positive things and look at positive things. So I hope that these videos will be beneficial for you if you wanted a little escape from reality. However, now situations have really elevated in the world and I just don't think it is appropriate to be doing these videos anymore. So I'm probably gonna stray away from the norm and try create other type of content. Although I had previously decided to upload content that I had filmed prior, I really don't know how it's gonna sit well. I did actually plan to take a little break from YouTube, which is why I scheduled so many different videos. I just don't think the context of those videos is really appropriate anymore. I hope you guys can understand that even though you might think that I do live in a bubble, I do genuinely care. And if there's anything that you are doing personally to help the current situation in the world, then please let us all know in the comments below because I think it's beneficial for us to all work together to solve the problems and save the world. I know that sounds cliche, but the world in 2020 really does need saving and we make up the world. It's really down to us to make a change and make a difference. So I hope you guys can bear with me and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. If you love luxury fashion and beauty treatments or you just love me. If you guys are interested in seeing what I bought, then make sure you continue watching. If not, change the, change the video. Change the whole channel. This is the wrong channel. I like to spend money. It's a big problem of mine, but it's also a coping mechanism for how I'm currently dealing with my situation in quarantine. I need something to look forward to. So deliveries is the only thing right now. Going a bit crazy, but it's fine. I actually filmed an unboxing of these shoes over here. I'm sure you guys can already gauge what I've got if you are an avid viewer already. We're gonna quickly rewind to when I actually did an unboxing of this. I was actually filming a video on things I can't stop buying because a lot of people see me repeatedly buying the same thing. It can get boring, but there are reasons for it. So I might actually refilm that video. However, if you guys are interested in watching, finding out what these five pairs of shoes are, there's three MRI shoes and two Chanel shoes, then continue watching. Over the next few videos, you'll notice that I've recently been really loving one particular color. I've always really loved this color, but I've never been bold enough to actually invest into clothes or really shoes of this color. Bags, I don't mind, but. So here we have pink <laughs> Chanel Ballet Flats. These are also tweed, so beautiful. And they've kind of got like gray and black and white running through them. There is a bit of like net. I think they're so cute. And ballet flats I just love to wear with literally anything. It could be like a pair of like leather leggings, a pair of skinny jeans, a pair of ripped jeans, mum jeans. They're just so elegant. I love these. I just love them so much that I got another pair. This might seem crazy to get the exact same pair. But I did say, if I like something, I wear it a lot, as you can see. All my ballet flats have been worn a lot. All my white trainers have been worn a lot. I know I can get them, like, refreshed and, like, send them somewhere to just, like, you know, get them zhuzhed up a bit. But I just like the idea of having options to wear, like, a battered pair or, like, a fresh pair. These are not the exact same, but I did say I was having a moment with pink. So here we have the pink Chanel trainers. They are, I believe, the only neon thing I own. My only argument for getting these was the fact that I could put a white lace on these and they could be less in your face, 
but I love them. I'm not keen on the multicolored ones. Those are just not for me. They are very comfortable. So if you are looking for a good pair of trainers, you're not so big on like the slim streamlined ones and you want something that's like in between a clumpy and a not clumpy trainer, like an Air Force, like a bougie Air Force. Oh, I hate that word. I really don't like the word bougie. I'm definitely gonna have to switch out this lace though. I think it's a bit much, but love these regardless. We have one, two, three new ones. These are not super expensive. They're about 2,500 dirhams. 2700 dirhams if i'm not mistaken i picked up a new pair of the gold i love this color this is one of my most frequently worn colors they go with everything particularly blue jeans and white shirts in summer actually they just go with everything this is a soft leather and to be honest i prefer the softer leathers in summer because okay around sandal box calf gold i prefer this leather to the epsom because it's soft and in summer it kind of like molds to your foot. You can never have too many of the classic colors. I forgot what colors I've got now. Oh, then we have a bright yellow. Now this is in the Epsom leather. It's a grain leather. Whereas a calfskin is a smooth buttery leather. This is so beautiful. Do you just get what I mean? Like it just goes with a white shirt and a pair of blue jeans. You're done, you're set, you're ready to go. I need a Kelly in this color desperately need a kelly in this color with gold hardware i think i remember which color this is this is going to be a bit of a shock because i've never actually had a pair in this color i don't actually own anything in this color but i'm not complaining blue how beautiful is this blue it's so nice so these are my three new ones i really did want to find a pair in the orange but they didn't have any they do have a lot of pinks, but I've already got a pink that I like. Can I stop buying these? No. Will I stop buying these? No. Do I want to stop buying these? No. Okay, now that that is done, I can finally talk about an exciting jewellery brand, which I absolutely love. I have worked with this brand before. There is a few jewellery unboxings in this as well. I'm sure you guys can see the Van Cleef bag here. I... I have been working with this brand for a few months now and I absolutely love their stuff. If you love affordable, good quality jewelry, then I'm sure you're absolutely gonna love this brand. I've shown you guys a couple pieces from the brand before, but I've actually picked up some which I know a lot of people were actually interested in. Previously, I picked up this beautiful ring. I love statement rings like this. And personally, when I'm in London, I don't actually wear any real diamonds. In fact, I take off a majority of my jewelry. I'll keep on the most simplest items because unfortunately, London is no longer the safest place in the world. Not that it ever was, but I'm not trying to get stabbed outside Harrods for wearing a Rolex. And not just in London, but in general, I do love a little bit of costume jewelry, particularly sparkly costume jewelry. I love delicate little pieces, but I also love like bold, chunky pieces when it comes to like rings and things one type of diamond i'm particularly interested in now is the marquise diamond which is why i picked up this beautiful ring so this is a marquise cut diamond it's not actually a diamond the brand doesn't actually do any real diamonds they do faux diamonds however they're all set in sterling silver and they do give you little certificates stating that the products are made with sterling silver. I don't really want to show you guys my nails because they look horrific, but how beautiful does this ring look like on? And it can be stacked with a few other rings, like an eternity band. But this is also a great thing to do if you're looking to buy a wedding ring or an engagement ring, but you're not really sure what you want, well, what you want to be given, then definitely invest in like jewelry like this, which is affordable, but it's also good quality. And you can kind of gauge what suits you the most and what you love the most. Personally, I love the Marquise diamond as rings as well as earrings. I have a 0.7 carat diamond Marquise in my ear. I also picked up this Eternity band. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I religiously wear two Eternity bands on my ring finger. And I thought this would be a great alternative piece to just wear when I wanna wear something a little bit more low key. It's really elegant. It goes so nicely with my stack and I can stack this with all my other rings and I think it is so perfect. It's just a great like little piece. I love eternity bands and just small, simple, single bands because stacking jewelry is my new favorite thing to do. I just, I love it so much. And the great thing about this brand is that the quality of the stones is amazing. And when it comes to this brand, I tend to pick up the smaller pieces because they look less like fake diamonds. I feel like when you start wearing massive, chunky 
zirconias or modernites they kind of look fake and i don't really want that effect i also get a lot of questions about the little pear shaped diamond that i usually wear i'm actually not wearing anything today but i do have a really cute alternative for you guys if you're not looking to splurge on a diamond like that this is a piece which i also picked up from the brand so this is the pear shaped solitaire diamond it is so beautiful it's very big but it kind of looks like that on if you are looking for something similar, I would definitely recommend this before you bite the bullet and get a proper diamond. It's always nice to like try things out because at the end of the day, diamonds are not cheap and you don't wanna waste your money on something which doesn't actually suit you or doesn't really go well with your outfit choices. I personally love jewelry. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love expressing myself through jewelry and I feel like it really makes outfits. Personally, I like to invest in small fine jewelry or demi fine jewelry because I feel like it's something I can wear with almost anything. I do really love to collect little pieces which are easily stackable and I feel like these are great to stack. If you guys want to check them out, then check out the link in the description box below. They also do some really great discounts. So if you check out the website, you'll see they've probably got a bunch of discounts on and you can save a lot of money and get yourself something so beautiful or you can even gift these jewelry pieces because i think they make really good gifts on the topic of jewelry i'm sure you guys have noticed i'm not actually wearing my pear shaped diamond today i actually picked up something from van cleef i'm having a little van cleef moment i wasn't huge on the brand growing up like i just thought it was so overdone but i'm getting into van cleef a little bit more and personally i just love the brand i love the service every time i go i love it even more because this time i went in and picked something up they actually gifted me a perfume I didn't even know Van Cleef did perfumes, but this is a cute little gift that they gave me with my purchase, which I thought was really sweet. But with any Van Cleef purchase, you get your receipt. You also get your care instructions and authenticity certificate in this little booklet here. I like to keep these in my safe along with all the other booklets and boxes. It's really important that you have these if you ever want to resell them. But just in general, it's important to keep the authenticity certificate and know how to take care of your jewelry. When it comes to Van Cleef, I think I've mentioned this before, but you need to be cautious as to what you're buying and how to take care of it properly because Particular stones have different care methods. This isn't a huge unboxing and it comes in a small box like this. And this is actually something my mother already has, but I wanted to get my own. My sister has something similar, but hers is from Louis Vuitton. So this is the vintage Alhambra necklace in yellow gold with diamonds. It's so beautiful and I love how it's adjustable so you don't necessarily have to wear it on one length because I like to layer I've got the option of wearing it on two different lengths however I prefer the shortest length but this is how it sits on the shortest length and I prefer it like that literally just right above my sword necklace and I think it's a really elegant piece you can obviously wear these alone or you know stacked and I think that's a great thing about this brand in particular I love Van Cleef jewelry I think it's absolutely amazing previously I did mention I was going on a staycation which by the time this uploaded I'll probably be on staycation however that very day I ended up making an order for the Chanel bag I really wanted and here she is. I did ask that they didn't pack it in the box because the box is so huge and I'm also kind of running out of space, which is a bit of a hassle. Okay, so this bag approximately, I don't know if this has gone up in price. I think it has. The large shopping bag, 30 centimeters, 14,040 dirhams. So this bag was approximately over, a little over £3,000. I feel like they might have increased in price. Although this is the same size, you will see it's not actually leather. So this is the canvas tote. This is the new style that they released this season. I love the colour. I thought it was just the most perfect colour. And this one's got these stunning pearl details on the bag which say chanel paris and the hardware is more on the champagne kind of side like a goldy champagne which is stunning again the magnetic clasp closure wow i actually love this bag in this light more than i did in the store this stuffing is like gold to me i stuff all my bags with this except the hermes ones which i get little pillows for but this is so good. Like you don't understand when I 
Don't wear bags. I usually keep them in the box and dust bag. Sometimes I'll air them out. It's so important to keep your bags stuffed. So I always stuff them with this gold. It's honestly gold. And the size of that, wow, I wish I had two of those. But basically it comes with this little thing which you can attach your keys onto or like a wallet. Um, there is actually a few pockets. There's one pocket on this side as well as a zip pocket on the back, which is so important when you want to put valuables in and obviously it comes with an authenticity card. The serial code on the bag is actually attached onto a little leather piece down in the bag. I don't know if this is machine washable. I might be able to give this to a dry cleaners, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not as heavy as the other one. And what I love about the new style of the Doville, I think, I don't think the older ones have this, but they have these leather straps. Whereas previously, if I'm not mistaken, I think the older Dovilles didn't have the leather bit on the strap. So the bag would actually just fall off. This is actually, it's so perfect. So this is what the bag looks like on me. I'm obviously five foot, very small. I look like a 12 year old child. Can you remove this? Yes. So this is a little close up of what the bag looks like. And I know this might look kind of scruffy because it's not like structured, but what beach bag is structured like that? <laughs> Beach bags are just literally to throw things in. This is literally my new favorite bag. What else? Oh, okay. Ignore this. I also picked up a little something from Dior. In fact, Dior have redeemed themselves in my books. They have really redeemed themselves. Went to the mall a few days ago. I basically picked up a bunch of stuff. I did pick up actually a few ready to wear pieces from Dior, which I really liked, but I'll go into that in more detail in the next video when I do a clothes unboxing. However, this one piece I had my eye on for a while and I'm so glad I actually got. Obviously, it is a pair of sunglasses. I love the Dior sunglass packaging because it is actually like foldable. So you can just literally flatten it like this and keep it in your bag. I think that's really handy. So these are the new Dior sunglasses that I picked up. They're like big aviators, but they've also got more of a square shape, which I really love. They've sort of got like a blue tint to them, which I think is perfect i feel like everyone really needs a pair of like classic aviators obviously these aren't classic they're not saint laurent or ray-ban but i love these i did go in actually looking for a, a pink hued pair like a big pink pair but this was all i could find although i'm not mad about it i also befriended a new sales assistant who is amazing the store manager actually took care of me when i was there and he passed me on to one of his associates who was really sweet and the service I got this time was so much better. Previously, I think I just had the wrong cell associate who was actually a trainee and didn't know much. And the, the other girl that I spoke to just wasn't with it. I didn't like her attitude. But the response I received this time that I went in was amazing. I don't know if they'd seen my video and thought that I was an absolute and wanted to redeem themselves or if it was just by chance that they decided to be nice to me. I don't know. And I think I will continue to shop at Dior, so yeah they did redeem themselves but it also took guts for me to go back into that store and be like hey because i felt like they were literally gonna either like blacklist me or just be super cold but they were really sweet i also actually inquired about a bag this one bag that i've had my eye on for a while the one thing i do love and also hate about dior is that their exotics are far cheaper than what chanel exotics were and what hermes exotics are they are a lot cheaper, I'm not gonna lie. Dior bags in general are like not the most expensive. They're affordable if you can afford a Chanel bag now particularly, and if you can afford an Hermes bag. Dior doesn't really do anything magical when it comes to their bags. I love the Lady Dior, I think it's classic. I also think it's quite basic. It's the Lady Diana bag, so there's no way I'm gonna call it a basic bitch bag because Lady Diana is the pinnacle of grace and class and we all love her. And she was the people's princess, so we love her. We love everything she does. We love bicycle shorts because of her. There was a bag I really wanted. I'd seen in London. I hadn't seen it in Dubai in the stores yet, but I basically inquired about it and the sales associate was like, I'm gonna find it for you and I'm gonna bring it to the store and you can come look at it. And I was like, Wow, thank you. I also picked up a dress I actually bought online that needs to be altered. So they offered to bring in their tailor for me who's coming today. I'm actually gonna be going to the store to get my dress fitted. 
and check out this new bag that I've been looking at. All in all, amazing experience. I just want to add as well that the person that was looking after me said today was his off day, but he was going out of his way to come see me at the store, which is really sweet. Like, they haven't done that for me at Chanel. Maybe I should pick a fight with Chanel. I'm an awful person. Honestly, Dior, you've really redeemed yourself and uh, I love you. The person who I was dealing with was just amazing. He was really sweet. And in fact, he asked if I wanted Dior Jordans. So now that I think about it, maybe they've seen my video. I can't wait to show you guys the other things that I got as well, which are coming soon. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos if you have not done so already. And don't forget to turn on that bell to get notified every time I upload. You might not want to follow me on Instagram. I don't really post. I'm kind of over the whole social media thing. But you can do if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.